Hi, welcome to another tutorial for YouTube. Um, so, today I'm going to show you how to download and burn uh, SNES Station. This is the emulator for the PS2. It comes with a lot of ROMs, like 600, all of them for the US. None like J uh, Japan or anything like that. Okay, so what you first want to do is get BitTorrent or another torrent file. I just like bin torrent because that's the one I'm going to be using on this video. So this is the URL that you downloaded from. I'll have this located on the on my uh, description. And you click this get BitTorrent if you want it for Windows if you have a Windows or if you have a different version like a Macintosh. Uh, you just click on whichever one you have. So yeah, get that download that first, and then what you're gonna want to do is get this uh, torrent file it's called the SNES station and complete US set with 600 games um, so this file has a really long URL I'll just copy and paste it onto the description to save you guys time so just download uh, click download torrent so when you click download torrent it'll take a while you can say open when you say open Oh, if it does this if you have Vista or some weird program, so you want to allow it. And so yeah, I already have it on the list. So I'm going to close out of that. But once you have it start downloading onto BitTorrent, this little program, um, I already have it completed. So it'll be on this downloading section. It'll take about like a day. Just have it go overnight whatever but um so after you have it downloaded then uh once it's totally downloaded it'll go to completed and it'll do something called seeding what seeding does is like helping other people download it you do not need to seed anything even though it says estimated time remaining or whatever over there just ignore that want to click on this file say stop right click on it open containing folder if you just open it it'll open a program that applies with it okay so you have your snes.iso file so now that it's completely stopped and stuff you're going to want to drag this out you will need swamp magic or modded ps2 to do this just a little by the way and then so now you got your ISO file, it's a nice ISO file, and you're gonna want to start an image burn. I'll have this on my description of how to download and install it. You just click on my download link; it'll start installing. So start up an image burn. Okay, so now you're gonna once it's finished doing it, so you want to do write image file to disk. So now when you're in the right image file to disk, you're gonna want your four your write speed at four X in one copy of course. Verify I choose to be off because it just takes like twice as long. So now you wanna select your file from a source. And now since we dragged it to the desktop, you'll find it on your desktop folder and open. So you want to open it, it's called snes.iso. So once it's open, uh, you're now you're gonna want to need like a DVD-R, um, or yeah, I'd go with a DVD-R by Sony or Sony. Other DVD-Rs may work, but they're not as good. And then uh, I've also heard CD-Rs may work, but I think this file is too large to be put on it and be read by the PS2. Okay, so now that you've done that, you have this button right here. It should be. Uh, green and lit up if you have your CD in and after it's red. So click on this button and it'll start burning to your disk. Once it's totally burned to your disk you'll get um, uh, it'll be completed to your disk and then you'll be able to play this with a modded PS2 or swap magic. This is very nice. I haven't found any tutorials on how to do this so and I just figured out how so I just felt like sharing it. Okay so you can click out of it once it's done burning 
it might take a little while because the write speed's at 4x. So, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps uh, people who are, want SNES Station have no idea how to do it, though, because instructions aren't very clear and uh, image burn is free, so that's why I like using it. Alright, see you guys later.